Hey, what's up? Just want to do a quick walkthrough of the mortgage snapshot. Uh, we just moved into this house, so there's a big echo because we don't have all of our furniture in here. But you can see we do still have the streamers up from my wife's birthday the other day. The kids and I decorated, so that was fun. Anyways, let me go ahead and walk you through this. So the a couple of real important parts, so let's go here first. Let's go to custom values. This is gonna be where you enter in a whole bunch of your information or the, the loan officer's information. I have everything organized. Um, so if you have other snapshots installed and then you install this one, everything will have this uh, prefix right up here. It will be in, you know, alphabetized and in order. So these will all be in one spot. Enter the loan officer's first name, full name, email address, their company's NMLS, their personal NMLS, the lead connector or Twilio or Google Voice phone number, whatever is gonna be used for tracking, that's the phone number you're gonna put here. A link to the online application. So most loan officers will have an online application link already provided by the lender they're working for. Just copy and paste that in here. The email with which they'd like to receive notifications um, so their personal email address, whatever it is, wherever they want to receive the, all the lead notifications. Uh, a link to their headshot. Come over here to media. Insert a photo. Right click it. Get the link. Paste it here. Same thing with the logo. And then uh, once we um, connect a domain to their website here in the snapshot, you're going to paste all of these links right here. These custom values are already placed in all of the automations and workflows. So uh, once you get the domain connected to the website, you're just gonna copy and paste the links in here, and then that will automatically populate the links in all the automations and follow-ups that'll go out. Sorry, I had to sneeze, so I had to pause it there for a minute. All right, so that is like a majority of the customization that you'll have to do for this entire snapshot. Um, so we're going to come back here. We're going to go to sites, not funnels. You'll see I have a couple funnels here. Uh, don't worry about using those. Actually, I put the pages here on the website. You can see all the pages that are here. There's a home page, purchase, refi. What else we got? Reverse mortgage, VA loan, reverse mortgage calculator, like all this stuff. So I've done mortgage marketing for about six years, and I have distilled where 90% of the leads are generated. What the leads are looking for, what helps instill confidence and produce higher quality, more intent leads versus people that are just fishing around looking for rates. Anyone can put up a rate calculator. Those are not people that are ready to move forward with making a decision right now. This website comes built pre-built with funnels. Um, I wanna go ahead and just show it to you right now. And um, this is built in such a way to where it helps you build authority in a local market and it helps um, provide assurance to the people that are clicking the ads and coming through that they're not going to receive texts and emails from you know 50 different loan officers just the same as if they had just filled out a form on Zillow or something like that. All right, so right here on the website, this is like the home page. This is where the logo goes. This is where the headshot goes, the name, all this information, all these links. You can see the link. It goes to um, the buy page, the refi page. This button up here goes to the online application. Each of these go to the different appropriate like loan product pages. The tracking phone number goes right up here. This, um, you know, right here goes to the online application. This goes, scrolls it right back up to the headshot. And this um, takes them to the, the purchase page. Yeah, and so right down here, each of these link out to the appropriate loan specific pages. And this takes you right to the online application utilizing all of the custom values. So you don't have to customize anything on here if you'd like. I haven't figured out a way to globally customize all of the colors on the website yet, um, but you can go through and you can change the different colors to match the branding. And so if the logo is a different color, 
you can just click on the buttons, change the background colors of the buttons. I've done that for a few different loan officers setting this up, and it takes a total of about a half hour completely to get this customized ready to launch. If you want to check out more of the pages or go uh, customize different pages on the website, you can just click this little button up here in the upper right, and you can move through the different pages of the website. I didn't actually change anything, so I don't have to save it, but it is going to prompt me and ask me if I want to save it. It's just because I clicked around on a few different things here. Let's go to the purchase page. <laughs> Takes a little while sometimes. Okay, so when they click the purchase page, I'm going to click preview just so you can kind of see what it looks like on the front end. So this is a page that you can either connect straight to Google or Facebook ads, um, or you can send people here after they have checked out any of the articles. So I want to show you what I, I suggest you do. But I just wanted to show you this, this purchase page real quick. Um, you click that, it takes you right up here, scrolls up to the top, get pre-qualified, scrolls up to the top. This takes you to the online application. This takes you to the contact page. Each of these take you to the specific pages on the site. This takes you to the online application. They can fill out the survey right here. When they complete the survey, it takes them to the scheduling page, which I will take you to right now. So each of the refinance, the buy a home, the VA loan, reverse mortgage, all of those are very similar to this, just with different background images that are more appropriate um, for the loan. But every single person, once they fill out a survey they get tagged in the system and they get entered into the appropriate automation and then they get sent over to the book a call page the book a call page has you know custom values here thanks first name received your information and Sean your home loan specialist will reach out soon next step schedule your custom call or your call to review your custom mortgage rate quote um, has my information there or the information where all the custom values are entered and the calendar down here. Very basic page, but effective. Once they confirm their appointment, takes them right here to a page um, that has their appointment information, confirmation, you know, verbiage up top, big headshot image and information of the loan officer down beneath. So this is 90% of the leads are going to come through on mobile. So really I, I designed this as like a mobile first um, type of site, but it's, it's real user friendly, super duper easy. They can add the appointment information straight to their phone. If you don't want to send people straight to the survey, what I always suggest is sending people to uh, you know, a page like one of these. Now these are like blog posts or articles or um, you know listicles or, or really I call these lead qualifiers. You know you can use these for Google Ads. What you're going to do is you're going to write an article based on questions that people are typing into Google. There's different websites you can go to to get this information. Answerthepublic.com, ChatGPT, different things like that where you can get article information or get. Uh, you know, consumer information to figure out what what are people asking online specific to mortgages, VA mortgages, reverse mortgages, first time home buyers, refinancing, cash out, whatever it is. So each of these blog posts has um, a title, subtitle, has the article with information, and littered throughout the article are different calls to actions to get them to go to the survey pages. And so this is the VA loan. Um, this is the VA loan page. And this custom value for this link is the VA loan page custom value from, from the beginning. So that's why it's important that you connect a domain, you get it connected to the website, and then you copy and paste the links for each of the pages into the custom values so that it goes ahead and it pre-populates all of these links in all of the different articles. Um, these are really good to do. They're Google ad compliant, they're Facebook ad compliant. What I like about this is it pre-qualifies leads before they get to the survey. So instead of getting a super high volume of leads, um, this allows you to get people that are willing to do a little bit of homework before they enter their information. And so by the time the loan officer gets on the phone with them, 
they are primed and ready and know exactly what they're they're filling out this form for so there's no confusion there's no bad leads there's no lost leads this is just an effective effective funnel the images in the sidebar the link in the sidebar um, they all go back to the appropriate page so i want to show you an, another you know another one right here nine mistakes that can affect your mortgage i think that might be this one this might be a clone let me show you <laughs> Yep, nine common mistakes that can affect your mortgage. You can see this one's a little different. It's got the uh, link to go straight to the application, a button to go to the buy page, a button to go to the refi page, and throughout the article you can see there's a custom call to action and then more buttons to go to the pages. So, um, so I showed you the website that I have and it's built like this. So you're gonna take a Facebook ad, Google ad, AdWords, Facebook post, whatever, YouTube video, Instagram, TikTok, you're going to, instead of sending people straight to the survey, which you can do, the survey on the website, what I suggest you do is you send people to the blog posts or articles first. If you'd like to convert the blog post to a video, you can do that. Um, what, and then from there, people can click the call to action. When they click the call to action, they get tagged in the system and the automations. You can, if you upload the Facebook pixel, Google Tag Manager, um, then you can retarget the people with uh, retargeting pixels here. You're making sure to retarget only the audience of people that have read the article and are interested in the survey, but haven't filled out the survey yet. Once they click the link, they have an opportunity to fill out the survey. And then from there, if they fill out the survey, they can book a call on the calendar. Once they book a call on the calendar, they go to the confirmation page and they get hit up with the appropriate appointment keeping reminder campaigns. Here we have all of the automations. Again, if you have other snapshots installed, you don't have to worry about this one getting mixed up or confused with other ones. I put everything in its own folder. So you can just click on the um, folder here and then all of these automations will plug right in. So there's 10 automations in total. There's the appointment confirmation reminder, auto missed call text back, database reactivation, a happy birthday workflow, internal notifications, so anytime a contact replies to a campaign, notification goes out to the loan officer, a no-show follow-up campaign if they're a no-show to their appointment, purchase lead follow-ups, refi, reverse mortgage, and VA follow-ups, all specific to the four most popular campaigns that have generated the most leads for my clients over the last six years and have been the most effective for generating leads for other people that have utilized this snapshot as well. Um, so yeah, these are thorough and extensive. My dogs are ready to come inside, but you can see, um, you know, it's a, it's a fairly long-term campaign. You know, it's set up for about um, 180 days. Database reactivation. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. And um, yeah, this one is, is, is just super duper simple. So you can have a list of all your leads from through the years, all of your previous customers, throw their information in here, tag them with a the DR1 tag. I would suggest doing about 50 a day. And then this text goes out. And then every single person that replies, we have the automation for the contact replies. And so if the loan officer gets a notification, they can utilize the, the app and they can have all of the conversations in here. And um, with that, it's been, it's, it's been pretty good conversion. It's been about a 3% conversion rate on all the database reactivation. So that's pretty good. So for 4,000 leads that are coming through, it's about 120 loans that come through on the, on the pipeline. Um, yeah, so all together, this has generated hundreds of millions of dollars in loans and tens of millions of dollars in commissions um, for all of my loan officer clients over the last six years. And I hope it does the same for you.